Well, good morning, children. I'm glad to see so many uh, of you here this morning. Um, I have a question for you. How many of you know how to build a house? I mean, with wood and hammer and... No? Neither do I. But guess what? God wants me to go to Oklahoma to help build houses. Is that crazy? Yeah, but <laughs> luckily um, God provides for us and um, this is the uh, Oklahoma City, uh, Serve Oklahoma City uh, team this year and we are going to Oklahoma just to do that. Uh, we'll spend one week in May and we are going to be used by God to serve, um, to show our love um, and to build his kingdom, build houses and build relationships in Oklahoma, okay? And as you can see, I don't look like a, someone who can build a house, um, and I had many excuses why I, sh I don't want to go on this mission. And so I wanted to give you a quote, um, jo um, Josiah chapter one, uh, verse five, the second part. Um, it says, uh, just as I have been with Moses, I will be with you. I will not fail you. I will not forsake you. So um, some of you might know that in uh, Moses, way back in the beginning of the Bible in Exodus, um, God asked Moses to do something, a big job. And Moses had all these excuses of why he shouldn't be the one to go. And uh, he kept asking God, can't you send someone else, someone who knows how to speak, someone who's a bit more equipped than I am. Um, but God said, no, I'm going to provide for you. You go do it, and I will provide all you need. So God has done the same for us in our team. Um, we have many uh, here that are experienced. Um, okay, so I'm going to ask some questions of the team. Um, how many of you guys are taller than I am? <laughs> Almost everyone, right? And how many of you guys are stronger than I am? Yeah. <laughs> I think pretty much everyone. And then how many of you know how to build a house or have experience in building before? Yeah. Thank you. So God is good. See all these people that God has, is sending me with um, to Oklahoma? Um, so I'm so grateful. Um, so some of us here are new this year, as not, not just me, but other people too. Can you raise your hands if you're new this year? All right, I'm in good company, right? Okay, and the rest of the people have been to Oklahoma before and they know what they're doing. So, one last question to the people who have been there before. Will you help me and all the new people? Um, will you teach us to be used by God to build houses in Oklahoma. <laughs> thank you, thank you, that God is good. So, um, what you guys can do, you can help us too. You can help us by praying for us when we're gone, because we're gonna um, be building, we're gonna be using machinery and think some of them are dangerous, so you can pray for our safety, that no one gets hurt. And then um, also pray for us to be used to follow God's directions as a, a unit that we will all work together nicely and um, just follow God's directions um, as he wills. Okay? And also you can pray for our families because we're leaving family members behind and they're kind of worried about us too. Okay? Um, so let me go ahead and close uh, in prayer over you guys. Okay, Heavenly Father, I thank you for all these children here that are um, so uh, energetic and, and uh, enthusiastic. Um, may you grow them, Lord, we, uh, grow them uh, stronger and taller and, and more knowledgeable um, so that some, one day they will be used by you. They will follow your directions. They will go where you call them to go and they will do what you call them to do. And when that happens, will they uh, remember Moses and remember to just be dependent on you and know that you will never leave them, you will not fail them. In your son's name, amen. amen.